Navya was born in a family of doctors. So there was tremendous pressure on her to also become a doctor. But of course, every child is unique and different. So she tried writing the neat exam, could not qualify. And then sadly, she had to get into the biotech course. Initially, she was not very happy, but then she started enjoying the course. Fast forward, she realized that biotech is all about research. And now there was a question as soon as she passed her master's. In her family, everybody had a suffix or a prefix next to the name called as doctor. So the only way she could put a doctor next to her name was doing a PhD. But she was deeply not oriented towards research. She was a Gen Z and she didn't want to dedicate her young years to PhD. So she reached out to me over an email and then she came to Biotechnica's headquarters here in Bangalore to meet me to discuss who should do a PhD and who should not. So Navya wanted to know whether she should become a Dr. Navya or she should go and join job and gain corporate experience, corporate responsibilities and settle down with her life. So in this video, to all the Navyas out there and to many more people who are in this dilemma, whether they should go for a PhD or whether they should go for a job, if you are in this dilemma, then this video is going to make things clearer for you. Now, I'm not going to be biased. I'll give you the good side as well as the bad side of both the aspects. But you decide and let me know in the comment section, which one would you choose? Now, it's obvious that I might miss out some of the pointers. So in that case, I invite all of you to comment below your point of view, your pointers, whether you think you should do a PhD or you should not do a PhD. Having said that, the first thing which um, comes to my mind is, if I was in your place, I would not have done PhD, even though I had a research orientation, but that was my personal choice. Coming back to or circling back to today's video, there are cases where children are put in a condition where there is a particular environment. For example, if you were born in a family where everybody is playing chess, the chances of you becoming a chess prodigy is higher. If you were born in a family where everybody is a mathematician, your chances of becoming a mathematician is higher. So depends on the environment, we all become what we are. Like I was born to a teacher, right? So my entire life has been into teaching. I like talking to people, training them, telling them what they need to do. That's uh, pretty much about me. So we all become what our family is. Now, same way, we all become what our course decides us to be. So the curriculum of our course, if I see biotech or life sciences, 99% of our course is research oriented. So that is where when you come out of your biotech degree, you think that there is only one type of job, which is research job. By the way, there, I'm going to make another video where I'll talk about the jobs which you can do without PhD. But in this video, we'll talk about whether you should do a PhD or not. So if you don't want to do PhD, you have a choice. Thankfully, 20 years ago, it was not there, but now it is, right? So if you want to immediately get started with your job after your master's, you don't have to do a PhD. If you are someone who is not having any more patience of studying another five, seven years, then uh, you can get started right away. Now, it's not that after a PhD, you will get a higher salary. And right now, if you get started, you will get lower salary. It is a myth that needs to be corrected. See, initially, right now, you might get a salary around 30,000 rupees to 50,000 rupees, um, uh, you know, range. But it progresses. By the time that guy who started PhD today will finish his PhD and start his career, you will also have five years of experience in that particular company, right? So obviously, you will grow faster. Now, moving forward, there is a very interesting fact you should know is if in case your economic condition, if your economic condition is not good, you should not try a PhD because PhD delays your years of earning, right? So you could quickly be earning 50,000 to 1 lakh rupees in the next five years, but that is getting delayed, right? Now, if you are not in favor of delaying your earnings, then you should immediately go for a job, not PhD. Now, the second thing which uh, I would like to highlight here is many people think that it is a regular thing. Okay, um, I'll just go and it will be a class where a teacher will teach. It's not PhD. 
PhD means long hours. PhD means sometimes toxic lab cultures. PhD means 70% of the time you are waiting for uh, the reagents and chemicals to arrive. 30% of the time you are uh, doing the experiment, but then the experiments fail and 70% of the experiments fail, right? If you are someone who has less patience, please don't do PhD because PhD is all about patience. It's all about doing things when there's, there's no result in sight, in view for the next three years also, right? So those who preferred structured work over open-ended problems, I think you should go for a job. So for example, you know, when I passed out, um, my professor said that you must go for a PhD. I said, sir, I ca cannot see myself in the lab. And even if I do that, uh, I like structured way of doing things, but a PhD is totally, um, I'm, I'll not say the word chaos, but sometimes it can be because there are so many things happening around. You are running, probably doing a PhD is as good as running a startup actually. So, uh, you know, you won't enjoy uh, that kind of life if you like living a fixed life or a structured life, right? So. That is where and uh, sometimes even the fellowship gets delayed. So it can get delayed for six months to one year and many people have to do some extra tuitions to earn money so that they can fund their PhD. Now suddenly money will come, five lakhs will come suddenly in your account. Okay, six months of uh, fellowship has come. But the money comes fast, goes fast, right? Because it comes together. So these kind of problems are there which you will, you are not aware right now as a master's student. It is like, you know, uh, doing a PhD and uh, going for a job is the same question like, you know, you should live on a rented house or you should buy a house. You know, I would say live on a rented house because it is better because if you buy a house, there are bigger problems. Same way, if you do a PhD, there are bigger problems, okay? But again, it's a personal perspective. Now, if you are someone who likes corporate stability, who wants to co contribute to companies, who likes fixed timings, predictable working hours, work-life balance, predictable income, job security, work-life balance is very, very important for you, then please don't go for a PhD because these things go for a toss in PhD. When the whole world will be celebrating Christmas or New Year, you might be sitting in the lab running the gel. So please think about this. Now, those who are planning for a career and they don't want to go for a PhD, there are several other avenues also, which uh, the pharma and biotech industry is offering today, such as quality assurance, quality control, regulatory affairs, uh, pharmaceutical jurisprudence, clinical research, clinical data management, medical coding, pharma production, sales and marketing, scientific communication and journalism, biotech entrepreneurship, bioinformatics, AI ML, biotech product management and all this doesn't require a PhD. I'll be making a separate video and a detailed video on this very very soon but I just told you what you can do. Now another important thing which uh, you all should know is PhD will delay your earning years and at the same time industry jobs can be always shifted abroad also. So after a master's, if you learn a quick skill, you immediately get a job and then you can gain experience and get into a job abroad also. So that's a very important thing you should know. Now all those people who prioritize family time and personal life like I do, uh, PhD is not your cup of tea uh, because it requires sleepless nights. It, it requires working on the weekends, it requires conferences, it requires the pressure to publish, to perform, to you know save your fellowship nowadays because CSIR after every six months or one year they'll review your work. If your work is not satisfactory they might revoke your fellowship which was not there earlier right. So these kind of things are there. Now this is for those who want, don't want to do PhD. Now for those who want to do PhD now find out if these things really excite you. The first is does science excite you? Does it make you curious? Does it um, gives you sleepless nights? That why does it happen like this? How can we make it this way? So if you if you are a person who asks quick why and how questions, you should do a PhD. People who want to build a research-driven career in government as well as private sector, such as professor, scientist, principal investigator, government R&D lab jobs, high-level R&D positions in pharma and biotech, and core innovation roles, then of course you should go for a PhD. See, if you watch my five-year-old video, you will find me recommending PhD because that time there was no options. Today, industry has several options. The industry has grew 100 times in the last 15 years. At the time when I started uh, my biotech journey, the industry was at $5 billion. Today it is at $160 billion. That's huge, right? So 
If you are someone who enjoys uncertainty, long projects, who enjoys experimenting, who enjoys reading research papers, who enjoys working alone for long hours, who enjoys solving unexplored problems, then you should do a PhD. Now, another advantage of PhD will be obviously government job, but government jobs don't come often, so keep that in mind. If you enjoy publishing global papers, becoming an expert, winning grants and funding, you like working in big labs like Harvard, MIT, Max Planck, NUS, then of course PhD is something you should think about. Now, many people I know after this video will come to me saying that of course uh, not doing a PhD is much more comfortable. Uh, but then why PhD exists? PhD exists because there are some people who like challenges. There are some people who don't want to sit idle and say, okay, this is it. There are some people who want to climb Mount Everest. For them, there is PhD. PhD is going to delay your income. There'll be five to seven years of low income. There'll be delay delayed financial returns. If you start your PhD late, that will be even a big pro bigger problem. But of course, PhD is, is essential when you want to target high-end jobs like chief scientific officer, lead scientist, director of R&D, senior investigator. Now, these are the roles if you want to target, then you should do a PhD. Without that, you cannot. But does this mean you cannot grow in the corporate sector of biotech industry? You can. You can get in, you, you can learn a bit of genomics and you can become a cancer genomics expert. You can learn computational biology, vaccinology, virology, antibiotic development, uh, proteomics, metabolic engineering, and all of this without a PhD also you can get in. So it's a simple decision checklist now. Do a PhD if you love research, if you want to be a scientist or a PI, if you dream of academia, if you have a lot of patience, if you like in uncertainty, if you want to specialize deeply, do a PhD. But if you are from a poor background, if you want money faster, if you want to get started, you don't want to study any longer, you like uh, you know biotech but you dislike lab, if you are someone who doesn't like reading research papers, who wants to settle fast in their life, who doesn't want to take all that stress and who prefers corporate roles, then our MSc degree is more than enough. But I'm sure I must have missed some pointers or you might have some questions. Feel free to put them down in the comment section. Remember, Biotechnica is not all about one way conversation. It's a two way conversation. What you say has a say. Your opinion matters. So please share what do you think about PhD? You should do it or you should not do it. Or what would you advise the future generations to do? A PhD or a job after their MSc? Let me know in the comment section and let's create a community which will help each other and win the world of biotech. All the best.